Warning. Concentrate sulfuric acid is corrosive. Concentrate ammonia, sodium hypochlorite, methyl ethyl ketone are toxic. Be very careful when handling these chemicals. 30% ammonia, 10% sodium hypochlorite, methyl ethyl ketone and 98% concentrate sulfuric acid were used for this reaction. Liquid hydrazine is a very flammable, toxic and dangerous chemical compound. Hydrazine sulfate is stable and safe. For making luminol, hydrazine sulfate is used as a chemical reagent. That is why I make this video. First, 250 milliliters of 30% ammonia is added to a 500 milliliter flask. Then add 100 milliliters of methyl ethyl ketone, also known as MEK. Then mix the solutions well. Ammonia and MEK will separate to two layers if mixing is stopped. After that, slowly add 186 grams of 10% sodium hypochlorite solution dropwise. I use separation funnel for that. After 30 minutes, all solutions are mixed well and solution seems like cloudy. Let it for 2 hours to separate two layers. It is necessary solution is clear before take it for the next step. Then separate the layers. Upper layer is what we want and aqueous layer can be discarded. Now take 200 ml beaker and add 100 ml of distilled water. Then add 20 ml of 98% concentrate sulfuric acid. This reaction generates lot of heat. My concentrate sulfuric acid was not clear. There was some black color impurity, so I decided to filter the solution. Then directly add separated layer to the acid solution and stir for one hour. During this time, keep the temperature at 80 degrees Celsius. After few minutes, hydrazine sulfate is started to separate. Continue stirring until reaction is completed. Then collect the hydrazine sulfate by filter the solution. Here is the final product.